Today, we're going to look at what happens when you add three different group one metals, also known as alkali metals, to water. First, we have lithium. You can see that it floats on top of the water, very unusual behavior for a metal. The density of the group one metals is very low, with that of the first three actually being lower than that of water. You can see it moving around on the surface of the water, and you might just see that there are bubbles of hydrogen being given off. You can also see patterns in the water below the metal as the denser lithium hydroxide sinks to the bottom of the container. Within a short time, the lithium has completely reacted and disappeared. The second metal is sodium. This is more reactive than lithium, again producing hydrogen and the hydroxide, but it also has a lower melting point, and this time the heat of the reaction is enough to cause it to melt, and you can clearly see a spherical blob of molten sodium whizzing around on the surface. Here is the equation for this reaction. You will sometimes get a few orange sparks, but it does not reliably catch fire. However, if you place a piece of filter paper on the surface of the water and put the piece of sodium on top of this, the reaction proceeds a little more slowly at first, but you can soon see it catching fire and burning with a brilliant orange flame, characteristic of sodium. This reaction is with the oxygen in the air, so this reaction is taking place alongside the one with the water. Potassium is more reactive still, and with no assistance at all, it will catch fire and burn with a characteristic lilac coloured flame. As is the case with sodium, the potassium is reacting both with the water and with the oxygen in the air. 